back to my channel. Yep, it is sturgeon season. It is March and sturgeon season is on fire out here on the Sacramento River. Um, they've already catching them out from Discovery Park all the way into Knight's Landing and a lot of them are oversized fishes. So if you guys want to come on out here on the Sacramento River and catch your very first sturgeon or your very first oversized sturgeon or even a green sturgeon, um, now's the time to do so. So in this video, I will be giving you guys a little bit info and tips and um, tricks on how to come out and catch your uh, first sturgeon, like I said, or your first oversized. So tip number one, try to target these sturgeon at night. Yep, I highly recommend you guys try to come out and fish for them at night. And the other thing is, um, make sure you use a heavy uh, leader line, like this one, for example. Let me grab that here. Uh, that there is an 80 pound um, mono leader line. And make sure you guys are using barbless hooks out here on the Sacramento River. It applies everywhere in California. Barbless hooks, guys. I'm using a seven odd. A hook 80 pound mono leader and yep so let's go folks let's uh, follow me along and I'm gonna show you guys or at least try to help you guys catch your first sturgeon let's go folks Folks, in this episode, I will be showing you guys what you need to catch one of these um, big old sturgeons here in the Sacramento River. And today I am at this location that I normally fish around this time. And yep, it is sturgeon season and it is on fire, folks. Follow me along and um, let me show you guys what you need to catch these sturgeons here. So, yep, there, there, there are some um, anglers out here and me and Biscuit and Melissa pulled up to this spot. So, let me get, get down here and get some footage for you guys and check out what these local fishermen are using. And um, let's get some of their knowledge and then, or some information from them and then we'll head back home and I'll show you guys what, uh, what I normally use and what my friends use to catch these big old sturgeons here on the Sacramento River. So, yep, follow me along. Let's go, let's go ask some questions. And let's see if they got anything tight hooked up. Let's go. Hey folks, um, this gentleman here, he knows who I am and- Of um, course. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, I appreciate it, man. You guys catch anything? Oh, you know the brother over there caught uh, four trout. Four trout, huh? Taker. Okay, are you guys doing any type of uh, sturgeon fishing? Um, not really. My setup just for striper. Hey, hey, TC, man, TC. B. B. I send you my uh, yeah, I, picture. Yeah, all the, the, the time, all the time. Over there. Check it out, folks. This is B, one of my subscribers, my yep. loyal uh, subscribers, and exactly. um, he recognized me right away. <laughs> Man, what an honor, B. Th no, my uh, pleasure too. My I pleasure. appreciate it. I'm glad you're back, bro. We miss you. <laughs> I miss you, man. I'm telling my wife we miss you. I really I'm glad appreciate you guys it. Yeah. I appreciate all you guys. So, you um, too. like I said earlier up there, yeah, we found these fishermen, and it happened to be my subscriber. You guys are uh, sturgeon fishing out here too? Sturgeon fishing. A, a guy caught a sturgeon here a couple days ago. Okay. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. Well, that's nice. So um, let's get on to the video. Let me show you guys um, what the locals are using. Yeah. And um, after this, we'll head on back to the house and I'll show you guys what I'm using. So, hey, B, um, your sturgeon setup, which one? Well, I'm just mainly striper now. Striper? Um, I was using a ghost shrimp but, earlier, but I okay. ran out, so just striper. Okay, yeah. but are, these are capable of um, pulling in sturgeon, your setup here? Oh, abs absolutely. Um, How many pound test line are you running on this one? Mine is just a, a 
25 pound. 25 pound uh, mono, huh? Mono, but this is the best fishing pole you could probably get, made by Hellcat. So what do you think, you can pull in like a oversized 60 inch sturgeon with this? Yeah, oh yeah, they, they, they pull in uh, the, the line, so 25 pound is capable oh, No, of... maybe not 25, uh, actually sturgeon, yes. I was thinking of... Uh, the line, the line uh, is yeah. what we want to tell our audience. Absolutely. How many pounds is capable of pulling in a, a nice big sturgeon? Depend on your brand, but this brand will definitely pull in the sturgeon. Okay. Yeah, okay. it's made by slime by Hellcat as well. Okay. What I'm doing is, um, I'm just showing the locals in this yeah. video what you need to yep. pull these uh, sturgeons Sturgeon. out of this water here. So folks, uh, 25 pound test is what B is using. It's made by a Hellcat and yeah. he, he knows that rod. It's yep. it's a tough and powerful rod. Abu yep. And, and out here folks, um, a lot of place where you fish along the Sacramento River, um, it's got sand. It's got sand, so these guys, they keep their reels off the ground, so you yeah. want to keep your reel off the ground, because once you get sand in them, um, it's all bad. So yeah, let's, yeah. Um, th th that's their buddy over there? Um, just met him. But you yeah. just met him? He's, he did a good job today. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, so um, B here, yep. he's using um, a 25 pound test, yep. and uh, about a nine foot rod there and he's um he's for sure he he can pull in a sturgeon with it and would you consider this light tackle medium or heavy medium this is a, a medium, medium setup tackle so um you want a soft tip that's a very important you want a soft tip on the shore especially especially on the shore yeah. b is t saying you want a soft tip especially on the shore he's using a medium setup 25 pound test line with the nine foot um, rod and he's casting out eight a size uh, eight ounce weight. Yeah. He's using a five odd hook, a nice size five odd hook, and um, yeah, you know what? I uh, really appreciate it, B. I'm gonna My head pleasure. over there My to pleasure. the next fisherman and let's see what he gets. Exactly. All right. <laughs> let's head over 20 feet over here and let's see what this gentleman's catching. All right, so folks, unfortunately, James here. He's a trout fisherman and. He's one heck of a trout fisherman. He's already caught four here in his um, cooler, right there. He's got four, right there. He's got, he's got four trout, and um, he, he, he's all on night crawlers. He's saying, and yeah, he's not a sturgeon fisherman. So um, I am gonna be headed right back to the house and show you guys exactly what I use to catch these humongous sturgeons out here on the Sacramento River and um, yeah let's go let's get head back to the house and let me show you guys what I use to catch these sturgeons out here let me show you guys what you really need to catch these giant sturgeons out here on the Sacramento River and remember folks um, there's a slot size to them it's gonna be 40 inches to 60 inches that's the slot size you'll be able to keep them in and it's got to be barbless hook so make sure you know your rules and regulation before you go out and um, target these giant white sturgeons here in the Sacramento River so yeah let's get down to business guys this is my go-to um, sturgeon setup it is a 10 foot ugly stick so um, I would recommend you use a 9 foot to 12 foot uh, rod out there. Yep, it's going to be a big rod out there because you're getting big fishes. So be sure to use a 9 to 12 foot if you got any one of those. You're in the fishing game and make sure you um, have a nice deep spool and a strong reel. So um, make sure your reel can hold 150 yards to 200 yards and I for me I like to use um, the 65 pound braided line that is because these fishes are really big like I said so this is the type of setup that I would recommend you guys to use out there fishing for these sturgeons on the Sacramento River if you have a 9 foot to 12 foot uh, fishing rod and as long as you have a nice big reel that'll hold 150, 200 yards of um, 
thick line like 65 pound braided or if you're using mono I would recommend a 30 pound to 40 pound so yeah this is the heavy duty setup my go-to sturgeon setup and this is what um, we all use out there and that about wraps it up for this video once again I want to thank each and every one of you guys for tuning in to my channel be safe, tight lines, and happy sturgeon hunting.